We're going to be doing a short arm cast next. Um, I like to cut the thumb hole uh, several inches down on the stock and add for the simple reason if you cut too short, when this expands out, you'll have it way up here. And I'll show you what I mean here in a few seconds. Slide it over to hand. Come out, please. Now I have all this to fold back. If I had cut it up here, you have less to fold back. At the end of the arm, I like to do a double fold. So you have a little extra padding down here. Now I'm looking at the hand. There are creases in the hand that tell you where the hand folds. Here's the crease I'm looking at right here. If you put a cast up to here, you won't be able to fold your hand. If you put a cast down to this crease, you'll be able to fold your hand and use your fingers all the way. You can even cut more if you want up here and fold it back to create a lip to fold underneath here. But I always kind of pull the stockinette out just a little bit and create this little passage through here. Taking the synthetic uh, passing, padding, I'll bring it right around through here. Web space. Leaving the stockinette out a little bit so I can fold it back. I do two or three passes. I'll bring it out low around the hand. My next area of concern is one of this bony prominence, the on the styloid. I do several passes over that, trying to protect that bony styloid. Bring it all the way down the wrist. Stop it somewhere just before the bend of the elbow. Usually about two finger breaths. Bring it back up. I'm going to straighten the wrist out just a little bit here. Now there are several positions in a cast, short arm cast, and depending on the nature of the injury. Flexion, extension, and this would be considered neutral here, where you'll be able to grasp and hold on to things. This is neutral position. Like that, your thumb's kind of lined up with the radius. I like to start off a cast by making a little splint for the palm. This is where most of the wear and tear of the cast is in a short arm. I bring it out to the edge of the palm and pass it through the web space of the hand. Once again, I kind of pivot the material and bring it down around the base of the hand. Bring it down the wrist. Stopping just short of my padding edge. Bring it back up. Once again, check position. Bring it through the web space once more. Bring it down around carefully, not to get any on the skin, because it's a sharp edge on the skin. Move it in with a little extra water. Check the alignment once again. Bring down the edge of the stockinette. This way and proximally. Another roll. Start proximally and just finish off the cast. Checking that web space area, you want to take that little edge of stockinette, fold it up on the cast while it's setting up, like this, so you don't have that cutting in around the finger. Make sure your edge is tacked down. Hold on to that edge up here around your thumb. By flattening out the surface of the cast, you limit a little bit of the motion of the forearm. 